Number one business to start out of the 100 business ideas to start in 2023 is my favorite business, fashion resale. Now, in Nigeria, we call it trip, we call it Akube, we call it Akeka, we call it a lot of things. But this video, I'm going to let you know that trading has changed and you can make it a bigger stuff as I have done. I have a resale company called Closet Sales. You can check it out for more information. But here, I'm going to state the pros and cons of starting a trade business or a fashion resale business here in Nigeria. So number one, it's super easy to start. Number two, it's quite profitable. You can actually make over 50 to 80 percent returns of your money when you do treat and resale that's if you know how to make your calculations right number three it's easy to start just go and be close somewhere and start selling number four you don't need a location literally you can start out small and then number five there is no barrier to starting so there's no industry barrier like anybody can stay anywhere and start their trip business you can even use your wardrobe and start your clothing business so it's super easy to start but here are the cons and things people don't tell you about number one marketing cost see trips in or selling fashion clothes that are treated or decluttered means you're selling just one unique item which means you're going to be marketing different items or marketing your business either ways the marketing cost is super high Number two, there are other things that are going to cost you money when running this business aside the clothes you're selling. There are lots of other expenses, maybe like location, employing staffs, social media content, etc. So you need to think about these things. They will cost you money. Meanwhile, your turnover isn't as much because your turnover is determined by the number of items you have and the number of items you sell within a period of time because the longer they stay, they become liability than assets with you. Number three, importation of thrift fashion trips in nigeria is still banned i don't know if people don't tell you guys about that but it's super 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 risky so because nigeria is a lawless country it's still allowed but it's banned so you have to understand the regularities around your transportation wabling of your items companies like gig pismas they won't wave bills for you do you understand so you have to think about that number four sourcing of your item is going to be dependent on government regulation so if government wake up one money and say no container is coming in your business has ended number six number dollar is going to also affect the cost of your items especially if you're importing these items so what's the best way to go around this i would advise that you start finding ways to source your items within africa or within nigeria if that doesn't work you can still go ahead to import in but it's super super profitable you just know have to know how to go about it now we have tech companies circular fashion companies that are almost doing the same thing but their value propositions are different there is a lot of alignment with sustainable developmental goals so you want to think about not doing what is typically being done and switch your business model so that you can make more money and build a sustainable business on the long term if you love this let me know in the comments <laughs> now the next company i'm going to be talking about obviously you see me wearing a ready to wear brand here and this ready to wear brand has been on in the last two years in nigeria i think her name is e25 dresses i love this set piece i'm wearing from her brand so ready to wear in nigeria is one of the booming businesses to ever start and guess what there is no decline in this business at least for the next five to ten years the ready to wear industry in africa and in nigeria would keep soaring, would keep increasing and growing. Revenues will skyrocket and you can build a sustainable ready to wear business. It's super easy, but here are the pros and cons. So number one, as I said, is profitable. Number two, it's easy to start. You can, if you know how to sew, you can start up. Number three, there are really no barriers in the industry. If your collections are unique, so within, a, within a period of time and with consistency, you will grow a following. You may start alone and later have to hire people, but you don't need to employ ASAP. Number four, capital needed to start is dependent on what you want to sell, right? So you can start out small and grow big. And these are the basis of validating if a business is valid or not. And then the most important thing is there are customers that will always, always buy from you. So there is no issue of the customer buy. People have a need for clothing and ready to wear, African ready to wear, are even soaring more than Nigeria and Africa. They are becoming a global trend. So it's, an, it's a business you want to start. But here are the cons. Number one, if you don't have the skills, you would struggle with tailors. So if you don't have to know how to sew, you don't have the skills to sew, I would advise that you actually learn 
why you're trying to start this business. Number two, there are a lot of ready to wear brands. Being unique is going to help you stand out more. So it's not just it's easy to start. You want to make clothes that people can actually love and wear and even refer other people to wear. Number three is capital intensive. Yes, it's super easy to start, but you will not start with zero naira. You have to have at least 50 to 100,000 naira to start a ready to wear business in 2023 because you need to buy machines, you need to start fabrics. Number five, this is where niching comes in. You have to pick a niche. If you don't pick a niche, you'll be lost in the market. Picking a niche is going to help marketing, make, make marketing easier for you and help you start without little or no struggle. Number six, with time you have to new, employ new hands. Number seven, if you are not an online person, starting a ready to wear business in 2023 might be difficult for you. So you have to leverage online platforms like Conga, Jumia, Gigi, and social media platforms in order to sell your products. These are not typical cons, but you need to see how easy it can get and how difficult it can get. And now the most important thing is measurement. The ready to wear business is something that has issues with measurement. You have to find a complement or a standard sizing for your product so that you don't have issues with your customers. Because in Nigeria, in Africa, we have voluminous bodies, we have amazing bodies. So your sizing has to actually be accurate and you're going to learn this over a period of time. So we have 98 more ideas to go on. So join me as I continue. Another business nobody ever told you about is portation of fashion wares. This is super profitable. I don't need to list it out to you how you can make at least 50 or over 100% return on this business. It's also easy to start because you're not sourcing these items to sell them. They've already been made and you just bring them back to Nigeria and you sell. Now, I'm just going to talk about the cons of running this business because we all see that it's profitable. We've seen people do it and it's profitable. Cons. It's super capital intensive. And I know a lot of people do dropshipping, but how long can you keep that? Sustainability in business does not involve dropshipping. I've not seen anybody dropship and dropship over 10 years. Now, the validity of a business is not just what happens in a month or two years or three years. It's over a span of years. So you want to see how much success in an industry and how, like, in the next years, what will happen so that you understand how much investment you want to put into a business. So importation of bags, shoes, dresses is super, super profitable. Now, where the issue is, is not with the importation. It's with the cost of importation, the cost of shipping, the cost of running ads and doing your marketing, the cost of products that are in bad condition due to shipping issues, the cost of items that have low quality that may start spoiling and peeling after a long period of time of not being sold. So it's super important for you to think about the money that goes into marketing, the money that will help you make sales, not just about capital to start. So it's an easy business for anybody to start. But I decided to talk about just the cons because we've seen how good it can be. But you want to know that there is a lot of money involved. You have to employ people to check your inventory. You have to be sure of your margins. And because most people import the same item, there is a range of prices in the market that you can't sell under or sell above so these are the factors you want to understand before you start your imported shoes bags dresses in 2023 how to start a fashion accessory business in nigeria in 2023 now nobody has told you the gold mine that comes with selling fashion accessories but this is another business that is overlooked and a lot of people don't see the money that is being churned out there but let me tell you why this is profitable pros number one the industry, in the fashion industry, a lot of people are putting a lot of eyes in fabrics and clothing. More people are not putting eyes on the accessories. But we have a lot of companies that are starting, sewing is happening. See, there's always going to be somebody sewing something somewhere. And a lot of DIYs too that is coming up. These are the trends that are affecting and helping increase sales in this angle. So if you want to start a fashion accessory business, run on it. The crowd is not much, number one. The demand for fashion accessories is super high due to the companies that are coming up and the need for diy materials number three is easy to start you can start with 50k buy the necessary accessories number four you don't need a store you can start at the comfort of your home number five you can sell accessories on social media number six you can partner with other 
fashion brands to be able to supply them this accessory so there are different ways to sell it it's super profitable which is the most important things and there are people looking for these accessories to buy now here are the cons if you're not in the fashion industry at all this will be hard for you to navigate because you don't know the names of these accessories you don't know which one is high in demand and you don't know which one is low in demand so you don't just enter the market and start buying accessories so i would advise that you do apprenticeship with a vendor or with someone who is in the industry already to understand what sells before you start number two as i said you is not a business you start without money you have to start it with some form of cash number three with time you would need to spend more money to be able to scale and to be able to become a bigger brand so you have to know that it's not going to just be a hobby it's something that you have to be interested about number four the nigerian factor is always going to be a thing if the government wake up one morning and say we are not importing fashion accessories this will affect you because almost 80 percent of fashion accessories are imported into nigeria so